A child died Saturday during a competition at the Rafter K Rodeo in King. The death has sparked several concerns such as why kids and adults compete, knowing the sport could cause damage or death. WFNY News 2's Hannah Jeffries spoke to those in the area who say it's a way of life. Many might not understand it, but those who are familiar tell me rodeo is not just a sport. It's a culture and a family. While it is dangerous, those in it say they understand the risk they take to participate in their passion. Quinn Morin was at Raptor K Rodeo this weekend doing what he loves. He was the bullfighter in the arena when a boy was bucked off and died. Morin says when the boy fell to the ground, the bull's hind legs stomped down on the boy's chest. My job is to be there when the cowboy falls off to distract the bull and bring him away from the rider. Um, and and that's that's what I did. Uh, and like I said, it's it's just the way he came off. He came off right underneath that bull and uh, as a bullfighter, I can control their head and their horns. I can't control their feet. After hearing about the rodeo accident, people want to know why parents would enter their kids in the contest this risky. I spoke to the North Carolina Youth Rodeo Association, who says it's no different than any other dangerous sport. They all come with a certain risk. I feel like people are, you know, why did you put your child on a bull? Um, why? And I could ask the same as why do you put your kid on a dirt bike? Or let them play football or let them play football or you know it, it's it's just something that that drives for people who have a heart for rodeo the association encourages those who are interested to do some research and start training early they say while accidents like these don't happen often they say it's not a matter of if someone gets hurt but when